cheeky crumbs. Today we're going to be making these super cute and adorable hazelnut and chocolate pinwheel cookies. They are so fun and quite easy to make. So let's get started. What you're going to need, two dots. For your chocolate bit you'll need 15 grams of cocoa powder, 15 grams of butter and one tablespoon of milk. And for your cookie dough, you'll need 115 grams of butter, 115 grams of sugar, 170 grams of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one egg yolk, two teaspoons of vanilla, two tablespoons of milk, and 50 grams of chopped up hazelnuts. So we're gonna start by making our basic cookie dough first. So in your kitchen robot or in a bowl with a handheld mixer, you're going to place your butter and make sure it's not too cold from the fridge but room temperature and you're going to beat on medium speed until it's nice and fluffy. Now you want to add in your sugar and beat for another five minutes. Now you're going to add in your egg yolk and mix well. Now you're gonna add in your vanilla and your two tablespoons of milk and mix until incorporated. Now you're gonna add your baking powder and your flour and you wanna mix until it all comes together. So I have now divided my dough. I put three quarters of the dough in here and one quarter of the dough in here. And in the three quarters of the dough, you're gonna add your hazelnuts and you're just going to mix this into the cookie dough. To your smaller dough, you're gonna add your cocoa powder, your butter and the milk and you're gonna mix until well combined. So now you have your two dough balls and you're gonna wrap them in some cling film and place them in the fridge for about 15 minutes. This just makes um, rolling them later a bit easier as they're gonna be cooler. Now that your dough has chilled out in the fridge, you're gonna place it on a sheet of wax paper and we wanna roll it out into a rectangle of about 20 centimeters by 17. You don't wanna make it too thin, so just see how you can stretch it out with your dough. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with my hazelnut cookie dough. And I put just a little bit of flour on my rolling pin to avoid it um, from sticking to the cookie dough. Now what you wanna do is you wanna flip your chocolate cookie dough over onto your hazelnut cookie dough. match them as much as you can and then you're going to peel off the wax paper just like that. Now using your rolling pin you're just going to very gently roll them together to get rid of any air pockets that there might be. Now using a knife you want to cut your edges on all four sides. Now you want to, with your short side towards you, you want to start rolling and you want to roll quite tightly. So you're going to start with the middle. And there we go, we have our little roll. As you can see. Now you want to wrap this in some cling film and place it in your freezer for about one hour. So now you want to preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. I have taken my uh, cookie dough out of the oven and I've actually baked my scraps. I like to usually bake my scraps just to see um, 
how how long they have to bake because every time you make cookie dough it comes out a little different depending on the you know how big the egg is and everything so I just like to see the time and you know these are nice and crunchy and crispy which are perfect I bake these for 15 minutes so now I'm going to unroll my cookie dough and you can give it a few rolls if um, while it was in the freezer, I actually rolled it a couple of times just so that it wouldn't flatten on one side only. So it's pretty round. And now using a sharp knife, you want to start cutting. You can cut them as thick or thin as you like. And as you can see, we have our lovely little pattern over here. Now you're going to bake your cookies in your oven for about 15 to 17 minutes. So here they are, our pinwheel cookies. And they look so cute and perfect. The chocolate contrasts with the white cookie dough and the hazelnut. And they're so cute and swirly. And now let's taste one. So here's our cookie. Mmm, mmm, it's so crispy, crunchy, but then the actual inside is a little bit soft, just a little bit. And you can taste the hazelnut immediately and the chocolate kind of comes in at the end with a really good like punch. So I hope you enjoyed my video and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought and what you would like to see me make in my future videos. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll see you next time. Bye!